Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Ann Manera. Welcome to another live call along. Thank you so much for uh, being flexible and joining me this morning instead of yesterday. I had some um, some things I needed to take care of yesterday, so I I appreciate you uh, showing up on Tuesday instead of Monday. But this morning, I of course, as usual, have some technology uh, surprises. I don't know how else to <laughs> describe it. So I would really appreciate your help um, uh, sharing out, sharing this video out to uh, your Facebook page if you'd like to, or to some Facebook groups. Um, I am trying to use a different browser this morning to see if it'll let me do something different. It's always a surprise with Facebook, but we love you, Facebook. We can't, we've got to uh, show the love for Facebook because um, we just do have to show the love for Facebook, I guess, you know? So first of all, let's see if you can hear me because I've been talking for the past. <laughs> 30 seconds and I really honestly do not know if anyone can hear me so give me a shout out uh, let me know if you can hear me and my phone ringing okay we're not going to answer that as usual so can you hear me Jean and Chris I just I should write it right can you hear me okay This did not say this. Okay, good. I hear you. Thank you, Rosie. Okay, so good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chris, Rosie, Mamie. A lot of people are already here. Judy, good morning, good morning. Good morning to Jean Mellinger. Uh, who else is here? Debbie Rettelberger. Good morning. I may need to jump off in the middle, Debbie's telling us. I'm waiting for a call back from an insurance agent. Some lady plowed. Oh, no. Plowed into the back of my Jeep. Were you, were you in the Jeep, Debbie? Hope you're okay. Uh, good morning, Angie and Mamie. And I said good, mate. good morning to Mamie times two. That's okay. Why not, right? Uh, Carrie Taylor's here with us this morning. So, uh, Laura, hello, Laura, how are you? So, thank you so much for um, being flexible and joining me on a Tuesday this week instead of a Monday. I had some things I needed to take care of that were not coloring related and art related, and it just wasn't fun. So, <laughs> I'm happy to be back this morning. Um, I missed our color along session yesterday morning more than you can possibly imagine. I was like, this is not fun. I need to be doing something fun, like coloring. So, I have a lot of things to share with you this morning in addition to the color along that we're doing this morning. So, we're going to wait until the top of the hour, um, about 10 or more minutes before we start coloring. But in the meantime, um, I do have the Color Along Volume 15 book. Hey, Angela. Angela hears me all the way from Australia. I love when people... That's amazing to me, Angela, that, um, that uh, the time that you are... The time zone you're in, and you're, you still take time to join me. We put a different light on so that we can uh, shed some light on the topic, as they say. Hey, I've got Color Along Volume 15 with me this morning, and uh, Color Along Volume 15 begins on September 21st. I, this is probably my... Uh, the Color Along book that I'm the most excited about that I've ever create, ever done, volume 15. First of all, I can't believe there's 15 volumes. And the other thing is that usually um, a Color Along book has a variety of pages from a bunch of my different books. But for volume 15, I decided to draw the whole book and create this whole book just for this uh, Color Along book. So even if you did not purchase this book and follow along with Color Alongs, it's like buying a, a totally new book. Um, shows live, but no sound. Jean, you need to refresh. Can anyone else hear me? Chris, can you hear me? Chris is always my good sound check person. I think maybe you might've been like the sound check person in the band or something. Angela says, I've been up since the butt crack of dawn, so I'm going to sleep after this. What? That's right. What time is it, Angela? Show's live with no sound. Okay, I keep seeing that. Crazy Facebook, you know? Cray, crazy, crazy, as they say. Cray, cray. All right, Chris can hear me. Okay, Chris. Couldn't in the beginning. Well, in the beginning of the video, um, I always have the mute button on because usually I'm saying to dogs, go sit down, stop licking that, go do that, don't touch that. So usually I'm saying stuff like that. I know we can all relate to that, you know, those crazy things. Were you in a band, Chris? 
right? Maybe you were in a band. I don't know. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to what we were saying. So volume 15, um, if you follow me for color longs for all, for like the past 14 volumes, which a lot of you have, and my goodness, uh, just can't even believe it. Um, this book has all new pages. So let's take a flip through of this book. And um, what I did with this book also is we have uh, color long tutorial topics that will be happening for this book. So I have that listed here. And there's quite a variety. There's blending with colored pencils as opposed to uh, shading with colored pencils. So it's just, just blending for the very first one. Mixed media, chalk pastels. We're going to use highlighters with colored pencils. Uh, pointillism, grayscale uh, with colored pencils. Okay, Jean's good. Static coming in, it's only really short time. I don't know what that static is, Chris, but it keeps happening and it's not me. It's a Facebook thing. So if you can ignore that, like you can ignore like, I don't know, a bad hair day or something, then let's just ignore it. My apologies, but like, hey, good morning, Sharon. Good morning, Alice. Um, so then we've got creating patterns, glitter gel pens. We're just flipping through the volume 15 book. Markers, complementary colors, sepia, woodless colored pencils, creating textures, oil pastels, glowing tie-dye, grayscale painting with watercolors, silver and gold, pop art, watercolor pencils, Van Gogh style, and colored pencils. We are going to be working on this book from September 21st all the way until... I believe March. I think that's as far as it goes, right? Uh, so if you have this book, uh, let me know because I want to create some sort of, I mean, you don't have to, but if you would like to be included in um, kind of like an email list for this book so that I can get in touch. Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what that was. I have you on the list, Angela. Okay. This is crazy today. My life is crazy. Have you ever had like crazy times in your life that you're like, what the heck, right? So, flipping through this book still. Sorry about that. I had to step away and, uh, and deal with something in the other room. Um... There was no sound because I muted it because I needed to deal with something, Jean, but I, my apologies. There was someone at my door. I knew who it was. It wasn't a dangerous thing. We have these bookmarks we're going to be working on. So just flipping through. This is going to be interesting. Um, a very, I don't even know. So I'm excited about this book. I don't know about you. So if you've purchased this book and you want to be included, hey, Dawn, um, if you purchase this book, refresh, Judy, and you want to be included in kind of an email list, then please let me know. And um, I, I'll add you to the list. This way I can get in touch with people. I mean, color alongs, as usual, are always free to watch. And then if you want to color what I'm coloring, you can just buy, you can buy the book. In the past, it's always been that if you wanted to color what I was coloring, you could buy either the color along book or you could buy the book that the page is in. But for this book, uh, Color Along Volume 15, I've decided to create a brand new, is it brand new spanking or brand spanking new book? And it's just pages for this Color Along book. So you will not find any of these pages in any other book. They're similar to my other books because I'm the one that, that created them and drew them and, you know, the whole, the whole nine. But they are not in any other book. So that's Color Along Volume 15. I wanted to just kind of get that out of the way. 
The other thing that's happening is Color Draw Along Volume 3 just began last uh, Wednesday. We meet every other Wednesday, and I'll show you a, a peek at what we did this past Wednesday. If you, any, you can still sign up anytime. Um, you do not have to have taken uh, Volume 1 and 2 in order to take Volume 3. Thank you, Sharon. Laura, do I have you listed? I think I do. Let me just, let me double check. Let's make sure Laura is on my list. Um, a pencil would be good. I'm adding Laura. And I already have Angela. I believe I have Angela. Uh, do I have Angela? Yeah, I have you on the list, maybe, that definitely. Um, I did put Sharon on it. I need to add Angela, but I keep forgetting how to spell your last name, Angela. So I, I've got it. I'm gonna keep, I'll keep this over to the side. Um, so Draw Along Volume 3 is Wednesdays, every other Wednesday. This is what we did the other day. Um, we, we drew this line art drawing onto here. Next week, we are working on a sketched lantern with graphite. So this is an exciting book. We meet every other Wednesday. So we're not meeting this week, but we'll be meeting again on the 26th. Um, what's the last thing I want to tell you? Oh, the last thing I want to tell you is that the fall camp book is out. The fall camp book, um, uh, yeah, I got it. I got it, Angela. Hey, Sarah, the fall camp book is out. It is on Amazon. I did not expect to get it up on Amazon so quickly, only because I just didn't think that Amazon was going to get it on there so quickly. So uh, fall camp will be October 25th to, tw to the 31st. Costumes are optional. And uh, you can get that book on Amazon. It's $21.99 for seven days of... Uh, pure coloring fun. I'm really excited this time around because we have sponsors. We have Black Widow pencils, uh, Schmere Farben, and Smooth Gel Pens are sponsoring coloring camp this time around. I've never done it this way before. Um, but all three companies are giving away products, and they're not just giving away one set. That's the part that's amazing. Um, so there's multiple sets from each company, I believe. And then we have... Um, we have a couple of things being given away from uh, people that are part of the coloring community, which is really exciting. And then we have a couple of days of my own my own stuff. So um, that is what's happening. I will not have other artists uh, coloring books this time around, but instead we're going to have uh, colored pencils and pens and, you know, the stuff to color with. And it'll be fun because um, Sandra Selway is giving away a CD from her children's choir that, she's, that she teaches. So I'm excited about that. It's an audio CD and uh, Carol Blaze is doing a painting for us. So really excited about that. So um, I'm just, it's, did I say I was really excited about it? I don't know. It's been kind of crazy, right? Can't even believe it's already out. So take a look at that on Amazon. Um, you can uh, see the link on my Facebook page. So this morning we're coloring with Faber-Castell grit markers. Jean had asked me, what color are we using? I don't know, Jean. We're using any color we feel like using. But this page is from my book called A Bug's View. And I don't have a copy of it to flip through this morning because I, I must have sold that copy. But um, I remember when I drew this book and I drew this book live on Facebook. And basically this book is part of my view series uh, books, this page, where this page is from. And it is all about how the world looks from the point of view of a bug. So if you're a bug crawling on the ground, and when I did this book, I actually got on the ground in the backyard with the dogs and they looked at me like, are you crazy? And uh, I laid on the ground and took a look to see what things would look like from the view, from a bug's view. And apparently from a bug's view, or the view of a bug from down below on the ground, it looks like the grass is gigantic. So, <laughs> uh -oh. hey Libby. Um, so that's what's happening with this book. So this is a bug's view. So what I thought we would do was color this with markers this morning. Um, and we can do a lot of different things with markers. We can kind of blend the colors if we want to. We can do some different techniques like pointillism as we color this page, or we can do some bolding techniques. So I thought maybe this would be a fun page um, 
to just kind of color and add some different techniques to. So these markers are like the clown car of the markers. That's what I call them anyway, because they like, they just never run out. I just recently bought this set um, to replace the set I've had for like four years. And it's just like the, and the, and the other set is really okay. It's just that I think the yellow wasn't good in the pink, but they don't, they do bleed through a little bit. So I do have paper behind my page, but they don't, um, they don't pull up so much like a, uh, a Crayola super tip. They are non-toxic, so I can handle the odor. Um, I, they're my favorite and the price is good. It's a 24, a 20 pack. I'm sorry, a 20 pack and they're washable. That's the other thing. 20 pack for only eight bucks. It's a deal. Hey, Rosie, honey, I shrunk the kids. Yes, exactly. It's like the movie, honey, I shrunk the kids. I love that movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Yeah, when everything looks gigantic. So after this book, I went on to create other books uh, in the in the view series from different viewpoints. Um, a dog's view, a flower's view, Scarlet's view, because Scarlet, my dog, likes to look out the window. So it's everything she sees out the window. Um, what other view book do I have? Um... A pumpkin's view, Cupid's view, Santa's view, having Facebook memory issues, you know, you know the deal. The Facebook memory issues, they always, they always sneak their nasty, nasty head in. So what is new in the coloring world? Anything new and exciting? Anything, uh, anything good to win for free stuff? I saw that Katie Darden had a, a contest going on and a few people, a few names that I recognize were, were winners. I know, I almost forgot the Cupid one, Chris. That one was a fun fun one to draw. And they're similar to the Frenzy books. Like, I'm drawing um, a new... I actually have two Frenzy books that I'm working on right now. Um, I'm almost done with them and ready to ink and scan. I think I have three more pages left to ink. I'll try to, I'll try to fit it in today that we can uh, flip through my sketchbook. If anyone is interested. Yeah, the dog books, a dog's view. The dog's view is from, uh, and then you can get a personal dog book too. You can get your own dog, custom dog books. I'm still doing those custom dog books, but um, you get your own dog in a book. It's not published on Amazon. Instead, it's a spiral bound book. And um, your dog gets in it makes an appearance in the pages like these. So, did a few of them last year like that. I'm gonna go with a darker green color for the stems. I knew it. I knew what you meant, Chris. Isn't that crazy? I actually knew what you meant. Maybe we've known each other for too long, Chris. Crazy. We can finish each, finish each other's words that are typed on the screen. Give this a little, um, get out a green stem. Here's another green stem in here, but I feel like I'm going to get confused with this particular one. Notice the hum of the air conditioner is not happening in my house today. Is this like a day to mark on the calendar or what? I didn't think it would ever, ever happen ever again. We've known each other for a long time though, right, Chris? So many people in these, it's unbelievable. I'm just gonna give this one a uh, kind of a, a pointillism style for the leaves, and I'm going to combine the two different, these two different greens. The other thing that's happening with that Color Along Volume 15 book, by the way, is that I put swatch pages in there. I don't usually do that. Um, so it made it kind of a thick book. And for anyone that has a membership with me, the Color Along uh, Volume 15 and um, the camp book were emailed to you over the weekend. And then the uh, hard copy of the books were ordered um, over the past three days, actually. I had to uh, not order them all at once. 
Rita, good morning, Rita. With your scholar's book, yes, scholar's book, scholar to scholar's view in Paisley's Paisley's Bubbles. Is there a way to color with markers without leaving the lines where you stop and start, Rita is asking. That is a very good question, Rita. Um, yes, there is. One of the things you should do is not, um, I'll demonstrate on the, on the tulips. How about that? Um, but one of the things that you need to do is to not have the marker press so hard on the paper. So the more you press down, and first of all, here's a question for you. What kind of markers are you, what are you using for markers? Because different markers um, leave, will tend to leave that more than others. Alcohol markers usually do not. However, the odor from the alcohol markers, I just cannot stand. I have um, some IO, IO markers in front of me right now. I use them to sign paintings, but to color with them, I just can't do it. So, hey, Tracy. I'm just going to add this all to here. Yeah, see, Tracy's saying it too. Use alcohol markers. Um, that's really how the pool, how, it, that's called pooling when that happens or streaking. And sometimes you can color with, um, with the intent to do that and make that part of your design if you're using markers that are really not able to get rid of that, those lines, Rita. But um, I know we've, we've chatted in the past and I didn't think that you were interested, you like the odor of the, of the alcohol markers either. So, um, so let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna, going to use pink for this because it just kind of screams pink to me. So if I use this particular marker, I'm going to show you here on a piece of paper, and I press down really, really hard, and then I stop, you'll see that kind of like pooling of ink. So the key to it is to really have a light pressure, kind of like what you would do with colored pencil, and don't stop. And that's how you will really kind of get it. Hey, good to see you, Tracy. I think it's going well. Hope you hope everything's well with you too. Rita says I just bought some new ones that haven't arrived, but I don't remember the name. Um, yeah, and I go with the non-toxic stuff. So you kind of have to go light, a light touch, like you're. I'm barely touching the page. And where that pooling ends up happening is really um, when you stop and start up again. So if it reminds me of when you're using colored pencils where you kind of blend, see how that just kind of, I'm just kind of, like I'm barely touching it. I'm using the marker as if I was to go and use a colored pencil. And you can kind of see, I, don't, I mean, I guess you can see what I'm talking about, but I'm like grazing the page. If you're a heavy handed colorist, then I would say that maybe this would be a challenge um, if you can color light enough where you're kind of just grazing the page a little bit. I know that um, Crayola Super Tips are really difficult to use in this way, or maybe they're difficult because I feel like that I just haven't used them enough like that. So, hey D, Alice says, I love Copic markers and they don't leave lines and you can blend and layer colors and there's no odor. Really, is there no odor? You know, I bought this one. Did I tell you this, Alice? I think I meant to tell you this, Alice. We were talking about this one time. I bought this concept marker. It's called Dual Tip Concept Marker. It's from Jerry's. And I bought it to test it, about to smell it. To I bought it to smell it. I bought it to smell it. And it really, it does have a smell to it. But this is the same type of thing as a Copic. Um, it was one of those try it and buy it type markers, but I don't like that the tip is so flimsy. So I don't like that about it. I'm going to tell you all the things I don't like about it. And maybe because it was a try it and buy it one, maybe this was like a, a defective pen marker. But to me, this is brand new and it, it looks like it's running out. This is the IO IO one and I will do a little bit. But so see how that just doesn't have that that pulling. But if you were to press really hard, it still does, you know. Angela says, I have Ohuha, Ohuhu alcohol markers. They are brilliant value. Really? Do they smell? Do they have an odor to them? So just kind of grazing it a little bit. It 
it's almost, and I think you might be able to hear the way the marker is hitting my paper, that I'm not really pressing down too much. I mean, it's a little time consuming, but see now it's kind of getting that, that pooling of ink. A little bit right there. And then some right here. Feel like I'm getting right. Do you ever hear those videos, what do they call ASMR? Where it's just the sound of things, like people brushing their hair. Camellia markers that have no odor. Oh, I'm gonna have to try those. I gotta write that down. C-A-M-E-L-E-O. -E like I really need anything else to color with, really. They smell like most alcohol markers um, is what Angela is telling us about the oh hoo hoo. Um, yeah, it's, it's odors bother me. Perfumes and, you know, I'm, it's, you know, part of my complaining sessions, you know? It's got, it's part of the complaint session we have going on, you know. I'm just going to color uh, just regular way with this uh, yellow in the background here. And then... One of the other techniques I think would be cool to do with um, markers is bolding. And we've done that at Coloring Camp, I think. Um, yeah, we did do that at Coloring Camp. That's a tutorial that's in one of my coloring handbooks. I like these markers because you can kind of go all different ways and they kind of fill in and it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, peppermint. Hey, how about, uh, yeah, the static. I don't know what the static's coming from, Sarah. My apologies. I don't know what else to say. It's an intermittent static. Yeah, people keep saying to put peppermint oil inside your mask. It's supposed to help. I don't really think I can possibly handle that. Some, pe some odors are just terrible. It's like lemongrass does that to me, you know? All right, so now we've got this background section here, and I think I'm gonna go with some uh, of this light, um, where was it, this lighter blue color, and just kind of put some dots in there. Because I like the contrast between the uh, yellow and the blue, and kind of the relationship between them and how they look next to each other. Some people count the dots. I don't. More power to you if you do, but could you imagine? Could you imagine if we did a con? We should do like a, a contest of to see how many dots you can find in a coloring page that is posted. That would be so funny. Strong odors bother me too, Alice is saying, but the Black Widow colored pencils odor didn't bother me for some reason. Hey, Bonnie Hughes. Yeah, the Monarch Black Widow pencils right now are still in, still airing out for me because I was having a problem with them. And I really believe that the humidity uh, the past couple of weeks and the high temperatures here just really did not help. So it's much cooler here this week. So today they have an appointment to go outside and be in the fresh air. All right, so there's that blue. Kind of looks cool like that. And then we can add, can do kind of a bolding technique. Um, and let's do it with these, uh, these circles up here. And bolding is when you outline the actual uh, line, the, the black line. So I'm outlining this with um, 
orange, orange as they say, and then you can color the inside of it either with a lighter orange, another color, or you can use like a colored pencil or something. But for this one, I think I'm going to use um, this color here, which is a pink color, but it's more of a peachy color to me when it's like salmon, I guess. So I thought that would be kind of a, a good color to use for this one. Yeah, I heard that too, Dee. Are you still a Sharpie and Big Market user, Lynn? I can't do it. The peppermint oil would really bother me, especially inside a mask. I mean, maybe not inside a mask, but up against your face like that? I don't know if I can do it. I've used a Sharpie or a Big Market in a long time. Matter of fact, I was looking for a black Sharpie the other day just to write something and I don't even think I have any left. This looks like the tip of this is much shorter than the rest. Hey, good morning, Barb. So many countries represented today. Aren't there Canada, United States, Australia? Um, sometimes Italy is represented. I don't know if uh, Pauline is here today from Italy. Okay, now let's move on to, let's do this middle section, I guess. Um, I'm trying to use a lot of colors, a lot of different colors. Let's bring this color back down though and kind of put this behind this. See, it's a little bit different than that pink. I'm gonna leave these um, little circles that are in here oh, uh, uncolored. I was gonna leave them, I'm gonna leave them empty. <laughs> so they stay white. Empty. It just makes me think of one thing. A, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving somewhere and someone was beeping at me and I said, why are they barking at me? <laughs> I guess I had dog on the brain. Imagine if the horn of a car was a bark. That would be funny, actually. I think you can't see the orange, Sarah, because of the camera. Maybe that's all, but I can see it. You know? I'm zooming in a little bit. Hey, Diana. I know, me too, D. but you know, it's hard to find a marker that, I don't know. Different cleaning supplies bother me too, so. I think we're obsessed with, with how something smells. Lynn, you think it's funny too about barking a barking horn. That would be funny. I don't know if my dogs would like it though. Both of them are like so fast asleep right now. I guess they had a rough day yesterday. Alright, so just this I'm just using just regular regular coloring for this regular technique and then the background of this i'm going to pop this color in also and then here i'm just going to go as far as here and then i'm going to use my uh executive decision have you read it you've told your husband not to bark at you see I know. That is the thing that people tend to do, isn't it? It's like, stop barking at me. What are you barking at? Bark, bark, bark. Scarlet barks a lot, I gotta say. Sometimes she has days where she just will not, she just will not stop barking. And sometimes I just look at Paisley and think, you poor thing. 
Paisley has a look on her face like, when is this dog going to shut up? I have to pivot my page. Oh, the roar of a lion horn. Oh, that would be cool. Some areas that you literally wouldn't want someone roaring at you from a lion horn. You know? It's too dangerous to to bark at someone while you're driving like that. You don't know what they're going to do when they get out of the car. The color pink would be for, good for watermelon, you think? Who said that? Sarah? Oh, you should definitely color, D. It's the whole point. This is one of my favorite books that I drew, actually. Um... Not every page is really as complicated as this one, but they're all the same style. And I always call these lines that go across the divider lines. So we need kind of a color that we have not used, and I think I'll go with this blue color. Lynn says, did you see the video of the woman who got too close to the herd of bisons and was attacked? The bison took her, took her pants. I did not. I saw the... Um, so the like an ad for it or something, but I didn't watch the video. He took a pants. She he, the bison took her pants. What is wrong with people? Come on over and paint. Hey Alexandria, Alice says I call Cleo and Melody, Cleo Melody, Melody Cleo, and they just sit there and look at me like I'm crazy. I always uh, say Pascality and Scopaisley. How about that? You think they're just kind of laughing? Imagine if dogs could laugh or cats could laugh. I was thinking that the other day. The other day I was actually watching, um, did anyone, does anybody watch Family Feud, Feud with Steve Harvey? I was watching um, an episode the other night. It was, I mean, I don't know if it was a new one or a repeat. I don't know. Anyway, it was um, Family Feud the other night and it was with uh, RuPaul from RuPaul's Drag Queen, Drag Queen Race against some other comp some other group of celebrities. I don't know who they were. But anyway, there were all these drag queens and I was just laughing so hard. And I'm sitting on the couch laughing and Scarlett was across from me and all of a sudden she just looked at me like, is something wrong with you? I mean, I think she thought there was something wrong. He's so funny, isn't he, Dee? He just cracks me up. He can say the word, but. Or the word and or the, and it would be funny. Like, he is a riot, that guy. But he was really funny with that group. And I love RuPaul anyway. He was really good in uh, AJ and the Queen. Did anyone see that on Netflix? That was a really, really good show. It had a lot of different things to it. You don't have this book, Judy? You know, speaking of books, I have a book on my website that is free right now as a PDF. It's Ch the Chase the Sun book. If you head over to my website and you look for that book, Chase the Sun, you can uh, download the PDF for free. I have it on there for free. I'm going to be I'm trying to get uh, um to do a cross promotion with somebody on YouTube and we're going to possibly give away that book for free, but I haven't heard back from him yet, but it's on my website right now for free. So take a look. I thought it would be kind of a good book to, um, th to use during, you know, during a time, the time of the time of life that we're going through it has all positive affirmation, just kind of quotes, chase the sun, you know, good things. I know, he's funny, D, isn't he? You saw that one too, Diana? Wasn't it funny? AntVenera.com is the website, D. 
But I'm going to make you search for the book. How about that? You'll find it. If you go to aminera.com, the name of the book is called Chase the Sun. You can pop it in the search bar and search for Chase the Sun. Or you can just look through the all of the other books. Tell your friends about it. Share the link on your Facebook page if you want to. Um... Just don't share the whole book on Facebook, you know? That's all that I ask. Okay, so there's my blues. It's kind of looking a little patriotic. I really did not have that as my intention at all. Now, for this upper section here, I'm gonna, I am going to leave that white, but I'm going to pull this yellow back into this for these little doodads. And then we've got these little little things up here. But I do want to kind of go with this lighter blue up there because I used it here. And what I'm going to do is kind of do and make a pattern of every other. See if I can pay attention to this. It's like walking and chewing gum at the same time right now. I don't know. Hang on. This is going to be a bumpy ride. A little bit of blue there, a little bit of blue there. I think I might, now that I'm seeing how this is looking, I don't know, I think maybe it it might need to stay white in the on the ones that I didn't color yet. Kind of the white just kind of makes it pop. Oh, speaking of which, everyone keeps asking me. For the fall camp book, one of the, um, one of the items <clears throat> on the coloring supply list is a white pen. We're going to be using the white pen for the coloring tutorial called Make It Pop, and it's really just kind of an accent thing. So if you do not have a white gel pen, you could use like a jot pen or a correction pen, or you can use a, uh, paint if you want to with a uh, paintbrush. Who wants who to advertise? I don't want anyone to advertise anything. I'm just offering a free book. Kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? Slide it over a little bit. Yeah, you can share it. That's all. Exactly, Sarah. Share the link. The link to it. Don't share the whole book. Just share the link to it. So people can go get the book. That's all. All right, so there's all my blues. I'm leaving it like that. I'm not going to... Um, to add purple. Where's my cap? Oh. It took off. It took off to another land. Okay. I'm going to leave that background white. And then over here, this is kind of like the fence. And I'm going to go back up with the yellow again. Where's my yellow? Jeez. Paisley. What the heck? Hang on. It's Paisley, though. 
She okay? Got off the couch and literally threw her body onto the floor. Crazy dogs. Even Scarlett got up to check on her. I guess she's okay, Scarlett. I don't know. You let me know if she says anything about how she feels about it. Refresh if you've lost. Refresh. I'm just going to pivot a little bit. Okay. So I am leaving the background of this, this, some white here, some white here, and some white at the bottom. Oh, we've got to use purple somewhere. All right. We'll use purple somewhere. You know what I'll, I'll do? I'm going to put um, purple behind the fence at the top. Just need some dots. Crazy dog. I know, Barb. Isn't it crazy? She falls off the couch a lot. She's, like, in such a, a deep state of relaxation that she just, like, falls right off. Paisley knows when it's time. She makes sure she gets her rest, you know? She hasn't been doing a daily message lately either because we've just been so crazy busy with weird stuff happening lately. And... I don't know what it is. So hopefully we'll get back on track this week. You think the purple would look good next to the red? Okay, we'll go for it. Do you think I should put it as just a solid color or should I add it like some lines? Maybe I should add lines. Um, no, maybe not. I'm gonna go with solid color. I'm making an executive decision, Alice, and I'm going with the solid color. Oh, I do like purple and red. Kind of reminds me of that, what is it called? Red Hat Society or something? Put some purple back here. So one of the other ways too that I try to not have that ink pull up like that when I'm using markers is I'll go try to color the whole, like a bigger area, like I'm doing right now, even though I missed some of those um, sections. See how I missed some of that? And then I'll go back in and fill it in. I have to pivot though. Right, Scarlett? Scarlett's just looking at me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talking. This it feels like a piece of the tip of this marker that is like kind of, thank you, Judy. Um, that is a little, I don't know what it, something's not good with, not right with it. I have to. I think that's better. Yeah, it has like a look. It looks like there's like the tip of the felt part of it is is frayed a little bit as I'm coloring. Okay, there's that the pipe That was a good suggestion. Thank you, Alice and Sarah. Okay, so that is complete. 
pretty, pretty cool. I gotta change the date on this though because I'm going to get confused when I see this. Flip it around. Maybe they do, you're right. Crazy dogs. Okay, so this is complete. So we really actually only have like a month left of this book. So let's just take a quick look at what is here for the rest of this book. And um, this one is next week's, which is on the 24th, Textures with Lines. And then we're moving on to Chalk Pastels for this one. And then in September, we have Woodless Colored Pencils. This one's from a Flowers View. And then um, this is the last one called Creating Textures. I think there's a page somewhere in there that we're going to have to kind of make up, but I'm not really sure. I have to take another look, um, see which day we can we can use it. But this is going to be fun because Textures with Lines. Alice, I think of you when I see that, um, the, when I talk about this color along, because you always have good, uh, good texture that you've added to your pages um, using a lot of lines. So what do we want to talk about? What do we want to make sure that we know we're in the know about today? Um, we have Color Along Volume 15 beginning on September 21st, and I'll do another flip through of that book before we, uh, we leave today. And then, and I mean, this is a big deal and I'm actually kind of putting, putting these in order of color, by the way. Can't figure out how to add to the cart for the free book, but it says I can place the order by phone. Um, I can't place the order by phone for the, um, I can just send it to you, Dee. Send me your email address in a message and I'll send it to you if you can't get it that way. Because it's all, there's no reason to place it by anything. Um, but if you send me a message with your email, then I will just email it to you. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Rita. So, Color Along Volume 15 begins on uh, September 15th. I mean, September 15th. September 21st. Oh, my goodness. Am I going to keep doing that? <laughs> I hope not. And this book has uh, Color Alongs in it that have uh, are on, uh, pages in it that were created only for this particular book. So, let me see if I can find the piece of paper that I have. If you have this book, please, and you want, if you want to be added to the list of... Um, of what we are doing with this book, then please um, let me know. So, you know what I'm gonna do while I'm doing this is I'm gonna write it down on the bottom of each page what is happening. This one is blending with colored pencils. So in the beginning of the book is this sheet right here with my notes on it, and doesn't have the notes on it in the book, but you can just follow this in this order and that's what's happening in this book. So this one's blending with colored pencils. This one is mixed media. This is kind of like a, um, oh, who the heck is that? It's phone. Scott, let's see if you can answer that. You know the um, countdown pages? This one's chalk pastels. I'm ignoring that. Highlighters and colored pencils. never rings by the way unless I'm doing this this one is going to be pointillism we hope I'm doing this right this one is grayscale with colored pencils we'll write it on the bottom and then this one Sharon you said you'd like the, the the layout of this book is it because it's horizontal like this I kind of like it too. Uh, this one is creating patterns. Oh, glitter gel pens. This is going to be fun. And then the next one is markers. It's not you calling. This one is markers. It's probably my friend Walter or my friend Gloria, you know, Gloria who tries to offer you like um, the, uh, losing my place here. This is complimentary colors. Gloria who offers you like a free cruise. Oh, this one, this is gonna be interesting. This one's sepia. And what makes me think of this, sepia is when it's brownish, right? So think of film strip. 
Um, yeah, I agree with you, Sharon. You don't have to deal with the spine as much. You know, it's funny because when I first started coloring books, I'm going to flip this one like this, though. Woodless colored pencils. Um, there was this big, like, thing happening <laughs> with people creating coloring books that wanted to create them like this. It was so crazy now that I think about it. Um, because we wanted the page to be laid out like this, but we were all confused. Like, how do we do that? Because if the page is laid out like this, what happens to the cover? And then finally we will, I just said one day, why can't the cover just be the way it is? And when you get the book, you flip it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know why we were all so confused about that. This one is creating textures. Yeah. Rachel from card services. She doesn't call me anymore. I guess she's not my friend anymore. Oil pastels. How about the one with the car warranty? We've been trying to reach you. Sharon says, I just got a call from some guy wanting to talk to me about Medicare. So tired of those to get them constantly. Um, did he speak English or did he sound like uh, pastels? Glowing. This is glowing. This one, Dear to Begin. This is from Chase. This is a, similar to Chase the Sun, actually. Uh, this one is called Tie Dye. Oh, grayscale painting with watercolors. This is going to be fun. You know, if you take your book to like state to Staples, Sharon, they will actually take off the spine and spiral bind it. Spiral, spiral bind it. You know, this one is going to be cool. This one's silver and gold. Silver and gold. Now I have that song in my head. Is that a song, Silver and Gold? Here's another one called for Pop Art. You know, art, like A-H-R-T, as we say. Watercolor pencils. This is a good one for watercolor pencils. And if I've written down all of these tutorials on the correct pages, I have to say, this is quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Van Gogh style. I don't know why I didn't do this when I did the book. This one's colored pencils. And then it has a second set of, cop of pages. And then at the back of the book, it has color charts that you can use to swatch your colors if you want to. And then what else is in this book? Oh, it has my contact information. Um... And just information about the back of the book. That's it. So I'm going to keep this with my book. Just because. There's a schedule on uh, my Facebook page. That you can get for... It has all the dates and everything. People said it was too small. So I made it bigger. And then... People said it was, still said it was too small. So I made it even bigger than that. And if I could find it, it would be good, but I don't see it on my desk, so um, I'll have to, I know it's there on the, page, on the Facebook page. On the Facebook page, right? I'm looking forward to this coloring book, to this color along book too, Sharon. Liz says, make new friends, but keep the old, keep the old. One is silver and one is, and the other is gold. Is that the song? Oh, all right. Hey, at least I'm not singing uh, Alpha Copa, Lola, right? Her name was Lola. I sang that song for like, a few days, Lynn, Lynn made a comment about uh, Barry Manilow. Barb is asking, are you doing color loans on Mondays? Uh, yes, color loans are always on Mondays. I had something I needed to take care of yesterday that was, was right smack in the middle of when we would be doing a color along, and I could not change it. So that's why we moved today's color along to Tuesday. But we're back on Mondays starting next week. Volume three of Draw the Draw Along book began last Wednesday, but you can still sign up if you're interested. Uh, next, this we, we meet every other Wednesday, so our next meeting for Draw Alongs is the 26th, and we are working on this sketch lantern with graphite. And then we'll be drawing these flowers. I'll do a flip through this. And then cross hatching with ink. What else was I supposed to tell you today? Am I supposed to be flipping through? Do you want to see the new books? Uh, the new frenzy style books. Yeah, Marianne does get her books viral. You know, Marianne is not feeling well. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but she could use some uh, positive thoughts, maybe uh, 
say hello to her on her coloring page and, and wish her well because um, she has not been feeling good. And uh, I've been in touch with her off and on for the past couple of days, but um, uh, you might want to color a page for her, maybe pop it on her Facebook page and uh, kind of think good thoughts. Sharon says, oh God, now that song is going around in my head. The Copa Cabana, Copa Copa Cabana, the hottest spot. No, the, 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 I can't sing it though because then I'll get shut down, right? Besides, we don't want to hear me sing anyway. All right, I'm going to flip through this sketchbook here. This is my, and then we'll, uh, we'll end. So this book is actually going to be, um, it says two books in this, in this book, actually. This is going to be uh, two frenzy books. I have 48 pages inside the sketchbook, and then I'm just going to, I have to scan. So the first 25 pages, or, I'm sorry, first 24 pages will be the first book. Thank you, Jean. I'm excited about the next camp because we've got sponsors. We've got Black Widow Pencil sponsoring us. We've got Spare Farben sponsoring. We've got Smooth Gel Pen sponsoring. They're all going to be giving something away. Carol Blaze is going to be doing the painting. She's going to be giving that away. Sandra Selway is giving away a CD from her children's choir, which I'm so excited to hear that. And um, I'll be giving away a couple of PDF books. But if, you're, if there's somebody out there that sells a product that you would like to uh, kind of advertise to another audience, not, not a book, but... A product like I don't know whatever you sell it could be your own artwork it could be something and you're interested in giving something away at camp you can just let me know there's still time to get in on that um, but that's what's happening with camp so it's really real I'm really excited about it. I think the camp book looks camp book looks great too we've also got color theory happening again if you notice in that book Jane and we're going to be working on triads and taking color theory a step further than we did um, at the last camp so, so this is a fun book. This is similar to Patrick Frenzy because a lot of people said Patrick Frenzy was just too uh, small on their eyes. So I took some of the pages in Patrick Frenzy and I created these bigger pages. Uh, so especially like this one has a lot more bigger spaces in it. And uh, so these will be two different Frenzy books. I have no idea what they're going to be titled. I still have to scan them. So um, I've got some time. I'll probably be I'll probably start scanning them over the next few days. That's like the worst part of all of it, to be honest with you, is the scanning. The scanning is like monotonous. I've got to listen to some good music. Maybe I'll have to listen to Barry Manilow at the Copacabana. He's singing it. Isn't it crazy when there's a song that comes up like that and you think to yourself, oh, no, I'm going to sing that all day long. I'm, in, I'm zooming back out. Sorry about that. Uh, this fish, I was going to put stuff, something in the bottom of his bowl, but I decided not to. Patrick Frenzy was too small for you too, Sharon. Yeah, it, it is. It was small. It was small to draw. Let me tell you, I, that book was, a, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it. And then I found myself addicted to it. My hand was killing me, <laughs> but I just kept going. My eyes hurt, but I just kept going. It was like, I just couldn't stop. So this is, um, so there's two versions here. I mean, there's two different books inside this sketchbook. So this one ends with the cheeseburger. So there's the first one. I hope you're singing it all day long and all night long when, um, th this ends with the cheeseburger. So that's one book. The second book starts with this gnome and there's a wagon, a gumball machine, this is one that needs to be inked. This is a snow globe and I just have to ink the back of it. And then I need to ink the back of this. I'm not sure if this is gonna have a flower in it or not. I, I'm just not sure about that yet. I'll have to ink the back of this page. So I think there's just three pages left to ink for the second, second book. Um, yeah, I could put marbles, that's a good idea. Like little rocks. This um, pool looks like it needs to have like this on it. We have a pool in my backyard like this for the dogs, not for the people. But why not for the people, right? This one has a house, uh, just kind of a weird looking pinwheel type thing. Uh, this reminds me of a chocolate Christmas tree. This is kind of my version of a camper. I don't know if it's working, but that's my version of it. Kind of rocky road going on. A cat has made it in. Looks like it's a giant cat if you ask me. Um, 
yes, I can imagine how much work put into that book. It was amazing and beautiful, but just too small for my eyes. Uh, to be honest with you, Shaman, I want to do another one because it was just fun. And I have something in here that I'll show you that I'm talking about, but I'm not sure if I should do it or not. I haven't figured it out if I'm going to do it or not. This is a birthday cake. That's kind of fun. Uh, kind of looking into the distance. Here's another flower, kind of a funky looking flower. Um, a beverage because you're thirsty by the time you get to this page. Someone kind of a little person. This one's my favorite. I have to tell you, I'm not going to lie. This is my most favorite. Um, this dog looking into the distance. I don't know if this might be the cover or not, but this one is my favorite page. Uh, a little mug that says, I heart, and then you can fill in whatever, whatever you heart. And then a bottle of wine. Maybe you want to I heart wine. And a mushroom. And a snowman. So that's the second book. Then what I was thinking, this is what I was thinking of, Sharon, was this style. Maybe I could actually do these in a combination, actually. Maybe that would be a good idea. So I've got this one right here that's kind of a grayscale. I'm not sure how this would work. Um, but I have that already in grayscale. And I wonder if I could get, if I, when I scan this, how this would come out. If this was a, if this piece right here was line art. I don't know. But I could have these, just these little type of bottles. It could be a variety. It could be like variety patchwork or something. Without the thing in the background, maybe it could be a simpler version. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see what happens. Right now, my biggest challenge is to scan. Oh, I'm rolling my eyes is what I'm doing because scanning is a pain in the neck. What other question can I answer for everyone? What other, what other, uh, what other thing do you need me to tell you about? If you've got Color Along Volume 15, let me know, and I'll add you to the list if you want to be added to the list. If you don't, it's not a big deal. And Alice thinks I need to do a gnome book. You think? I feel like when I draw a gnome, they just don't look right. Maybe I'm just, maybe I need to look at some gnomes. You didn't see Chase the Sun? Let me see if I can find it before we're chasing the book. I'm looking, 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 looking. This is the Chase the Sun book. Okay, so thanks so much again for joining me today on a, an odd day. Um, an oddball day, right? An oddball day. And yeah, it's just my website, D. It's got, um, what do you call it? When the site is safe, a certificate, it's good. The flowers for Itsy Bitsy. You're welcome, Lynn. Um, the flowers for Itsy Bitsy, let me see here. Maybe we can get it done next week because next week is, um, next week is textures and lines. We'll try to get it done next week, Jane, because this is just about textures and lines. So let's try to do it next week. Hey, thanks so much, so much for joining today, Bonnie. Okay, my friends, I will um, see everyone next week. Hope you have a great day today. And uh, take some time to go outside and enjoy the fresh air, right? And I will see everyone next week. Have a great day, everyone.